Hello everybody, Shelly here and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. Yay! Okay, so this episode's just gonna be like some wrap up because I realized I didn't talk to my crew after the big Granok mission and it's kind of important I should probably do that. So, we're just gonna talk to everybody. And we're gonna, uh, if we need to fill up the time a bit, we'll go scan some new star clusters, some new galaxies. Also, uh, I'm supposed to... Where... Where would it be? Do do do... Hmm. Okay. I was looking for something and it wasn't there. Or it's there and I don't know where to look. That tends to happen. Okay, so I don't think anybody is here. That's kind of important. Oh, at least in three and four. So we'll go. We'll talk to everybody. It'll be good. Um, point out just a couple of things as far as. You just took down a reaper without a giant thresher ma helping. Yeah. Damn right. We just showed the galaxy we could beat him. We kicked serious butt. So, I want to thank Super Ritter for um, actually helping me kind of figure out story-wise, just con for continuity's sake and, and the flow, essentially. In what order... I read messages at your private thank terminal, you, Trainer, Commander. don't interrupt me. In what order to do, basically, the DLCs and, and when to kind of pace everything out. So, as it stands, I'm going to do Omega first, then I'm going to do the Citadel DLC, then I'm gonna go uh, do the story missions and all this, you know, the main game stuff. And then uh, before the big, you know, point of no return, whenever that is, apparently I'll know. But um, that's when I'm gonna do the Viathan. Apparently it's just the f yeah, the story itself, and I'm running around circles, the story itself flows better that way, so I wanna thank him for helping me out. What is this? From Tally Zora. Shepard, I just want to let you know I'm going to join Adams in engineering. It seems like the best place, bleh, best place for me to help, as long as I'm coming with you anyway. Drop by when you have a minute. Progress report from Shalaran Vosranok. Ooh, Vosranok. That makes me feel, you know, happy. I got a smile on my face in that. Commander, with the assistance from the Geth, our fleet is nearly back to full strength. We have focused most of our efforts on providing evacuation assistance and support for the Turian fleet while the Geth harass the Reapers. Even with our newfound peace, it seems foolish to risk an incident by putting our forces in closer proximity. I understand from Admiral Zen that the Crucible project continues well, though Zen herself seems dissatisfied with the technological capabilities of the device. Though eccentric, she is also brilliant. Hopefully she will find some way to improve its functionality. I would never have believed you would talk down Han or you would talk Han down, Commander. Take care of Talizora for me, Kila Salai, Admiral Shalaran Vasranak. Eh, <laughs> Shala. That's close to Shali. She's my own personal little... Oh, god damn it! Ah, I just see Diana's name and I'm like... Ah. Um, it may be hard to believe after what we just went through, but the rest of the galaxy is barely aware the Corians ever went into the Vale, let alone started a war with the Geth. We're sitting here on a major piece of history. I have a material from all the players except you. Can I get you in the cabin for an hour and get your thoughts on the vid? Okay, maybe. I guess. I hear you were on the ground with the Reaper. He fired up at us a few times. Joker pulled the Normandy through some insane maneuvers to stay out of the line of fire. It's hard being in a fight like that, especially when you're not the one flying the ship. Joker's one of the best, though. At first I was nauseous, swinging around in my safety harness. But then I was furious. Just... Uh, enraged. I wanted that thing dead. You didn't want the Reapers dead when they attacked Earth? I wanted them defeated. I wanted Earth saved. But I never wanted to physically tear them in half and watch them blow up. Holy crap, woman! Congratulations, trainer. I believe you've discovered your fight-or-flight instinct. Perhaps I should have stayed with Chess. Although now I think I'm spoiled by the lack of explosions. Explosions are nice. Commander? After all, I only have one question for you, trainer. 
explosions. That's all I'm saying on that matter. Okay, time to go talk to the cockpit of uh, Doom. As you know, it is my place to. They probably fixed this glitch already, but as you know, it's my place to save before going in here, so. It's on your mind, Edie. I was just reflecting. The Quarian's historical era was not making the Geth enough like them. I'm not sure I understand. Units with networked intelligences will trend toward cooperation for mutual benefit. But units with central heuristics establishing an individual personality, such as myself, develop preferences. These preferences form attachments that keep my calculations from devaluing the worth of the lives aboard the Normandy. You're saying the Geth turned on the Corians because they aren't individuals? That is my theory. But it is limited to a sample size of one society. The only other notable synthetic society is the Reapers, and we do not know if they govern by consensus as the Geth do. Do me a favor. Don't ask them. Definitely, definitely worth pondering. Hello, Shepard. Hello. Oh, oh my god. Guys. Guys. I got stuck. Oh, you can hear me. Furiously clicking. Oh, I got stuck, guys. I knew it. I knew I should have saved. I will be right back. And I'm back. This time I'm not stuck. Gotta hand it to you, Commander. That's the first time I've seen someone end a war by yelling. I know how to put children in their place. After seeing what the Geth Rebellion really looked like, I figured they deserved a chance. Thank you, Commander. I doubt many organics would have trusted a synthetic race. And now we've got two fleets for the price of one. We didn't lose anybody. Except Legion, before it sacrificed itself. Legion referred to itself as I instead of we. Yeah? So? The singular pronoun indicates Legion's independent personality had fully actualized. Wow. In its last moments, it was not an avatar of the Geth Consensus. It was a person. That's what I figured. Well, when the Geth fleet helps us retake Earth, I guess we'll owe that to... him. Aww. I'm so happy for Legion, but at the same time, it's sad. Commander? It's sad to see him go. Just another name to put on the wall. I don't want to go look at the wall. That list is getting really long. Also, I have a feeling Miranda's going to end up on there. You know, just based on my little thing. And I know people are like, uh huh, this did get longer. There he is. Legion. Look at Legion's name. Uh, you could probably fill this entire board. That would be an interesting feat to try, but I don't even know who's where. I'm just kind of wandering around. Let me out! Let me out! I command it! Okay, where am I going? Ooh, James and Caden in the lounge, eh? Liara, Garrus is where he usually is, Dr. Sharp is where she usually is. Let's go see what Dr. Chakwas has to say. Feeling okay, Commander? Um, yeah, I'm okay. Feeling okay, Commander? Yes, ma'am. Talk to them later. Go talk to Garrus first. Garrus and his mighty calibrations. Peace between the Geth and Quarians. Well, who would have thought? Not how I ever imagined that would turn out. Next you'll be telling me the Krogan and Turians are cooperating. Oh, right. You managed that one too. Uh, yeah, Garrus. You're a peacemaker, Shepard. A rare thing these days. Now, if you can pacify the Reapers, we'll make you a saint. We shall see, Garrus. We shall see. Not sure if having an army of Geth behind us gives me confidence or makes me feel like there's a target on my back. You're fine. Another time, maybe. Yeah, fine. Fine. You win this time, Garrus. So, my upstairs neighbor is making a lot of noise. Do you know what time it is? It's 1040 at night right now. And he's just up there thumping around in his concrete shoes. 
At least that's what it sounds like. Sometimes it's so loud, my apartment floor shakes. And he's above me. Figure that one out. Um, he had his kids over this weekend, and oh man, was it ever loud! On Another Friday, Reaper up. gone, and oh, peace between the Geth and Quarians. It's amazing. And now my people have a world to fight for. Something they know will last forever. So long as you and the Geth remain good neighbors. They're not our servants anymore. I'm not sure what we should call them. Allies? Friends? There's still too many wounds on either side. But maybe one day. Yeah, that'd be nice. The Migrant Fleet and the Geth warships have joined Admiral Hackett. That's a pretty big deal. It's good to see you. Aw, thank you. It's always good to see you. Just standing on your computers. Sorry. Ooh. Email from Sergeant Kavanak to Sergeant Ichi. Next time you want to warn me that the Geth are our friends and that maybe we're not supposed to shoot the big robots, I almost pissed myself when these primes started dropping out of the sky and mopping up the Reapers. We fired a few rounds at them till we realized they weren't firing back. And then this one comes over and said they're allied assistants and asks for our status. I'm not complaining they saved my crew, but I'm never living down having to apologize to a Geth for shooting one of its damn lights off. <laughs> That's a good one. Hey, Geth. No upgrades? Alright. At your service. Always when I walk out of the door. Hello. Where's my men? You're not my men. Where are my men? Um, they're in the lounge. Right, 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 right. I kind of forgot where the lounge was for a second there. But yeah, my my neighbors. I think it was their kids. Is this the lounge? Starboard observation. So. Yeah, they, they woke me up while I was sleeping. It's crazy. Mad crazy. Got the flush. Oh my god, they're playing mm. poker. Full house. Caught it on the river. Shit. <laughs> Thought you were bluffing on the flush. Good for you. Cannon, Lieutenant. <laughs> yes, sir, Major Alenko, sir. <laughs> oh, you too. I want to play too. Can I play, please? Hey, Commander. What's up? Hey, Commander. It's really all you have to say. Hey, Caden, what's up? Shepard, I'd deal you in, but Vega just cleaned me out. Oh, come on. That really as deep as your pockets go? No sentimental crap stowed away? Investments? I got some land on the Sunshine Coast I could put up. <laughs> I'll pass. And I don't put it up. That was quite the negotiation you've pulled off. Mm -hmm. And having both the Quarians and the Geth on our side, that's a very good thing. I am pretty good, Caden. Totally took down a Reaper. Yep. Sure did. Yes, you did. <laughs> Hell yeah. That was the manliest Just conversation. More and we're done. <laughs> oh, manliest conversation I ever right there. And you know, I'm just gonna have to go with you on trusting the Geth. I hope it works out. Oh, I'm sure it will, Caden. I'm sure it will. Now, let's talk later. He says that, like, let's talk later. Hey, Commander. Let's quote-unquote talk later. I think I talked to everybody here, so it's time to go back up. Or down. Technically down. Or up. I think it depends. Sometimes I don't really know which way this elevator goes. Tally wanted to speak with me. Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Well, I... What? You don't like my legs? Gabby, it's you. You know? No, chicken shit, I don't know. All you do is make stupid sexist comments to avoid saying anything real. Gabby, now's not the time. We've got work to do. Responsibilities. Ah, grow a pair, Ken. Look around you. Tomorrow may not come. Something to say, or no? Gabby, please. We have a duty to the ship and the crew. What about us? Just... <sighs> listen to yourself. 
Kenneth, you comment on every woman's figure but mine. Okay, um... Well, I... We're not fighting this war for ourselves, Donnelly. We're fighting for the people close to us. Time is short. I see your point, Commander. Gabby, I think your legs are spectacular. <laughs> well, that's a start. That is a start. All good, Commander. Commander? So. Commander. I love how I had to bring that up. That was definitely strange. Can't be. No. I guess that's right. Hey. Hey, Tally. How's it going? Oh, sorry. I didn't hear you. I just got communication from the fleet. Sorry. Uh, from Rannoch. In the old days, I'd send any new technology I found back to the fleet. I should probably be doing that with the agriculture samples now. I, I don't know anything about raising crops. How are your people doing? It's crazy. The Geth are... helping. Setting up housing, adapting power systems. They are doing in weeks what would have taken us years. Geth are even uploading into the suits of Quarian volunteers. They're rewriting environmental functions, jump-starting our immune systems. I like that because it means that they don't harbor like a grudge towards you. They're they're finally like the moment that they finally get uh, a, a real consciousness and become like people instead of a collective. I think that that their first real emotional impression of the Koreans was a good one because they didn't hurt them. I mean, obviously logical and, and memory based and all that is bad, but like, I think I think they're starting off on the right foot and that's great. That doesn't seem possible. The Geth are software, not hardware. They can transfer themselves from a normal body into anything with enough processing power. They're mimicking infections, so the host can adapt without getting sick. It's like making a vaccine. That's really cool, and something they didn't have to do at all, but they are doing. So the Quarians won't have to wear those suits anymore? It doesn't seem possible, but yes, in a few years, with Geth improvements, we won't need them. We might still wear them, the suits have become part of our society, but a rupture won't be a death sentence. Today, on Rannoch, there are Quarian children who will grow up healthy and strong, thanks to the Geth. They owe that to you. No. I'd have killed the Geth with no regrets, and I'd have been wrong. Thank you. I'm happy to help. I like that the Geth, they, they made the choice to help them. They made that choice of their own free will. They're not servants of the Quarians, and they're making decisions that normally they would have been, you know, ordered to do or instructed to do back when they weren't like a, a fully functional, you know, artificial intelligence. So it's really cool to see them make these decisions on their own. I can't believe my people are working with the Geth. I know. It's so awesome. The Geth are helping us rebuild. I never thought I'd see it. I'm so happy for you, Tally. Our scientists and the Geth have done amazing work on the Crucible together. Hey, Shepard. Hey, Tally. I do like that, um... That I was able to resolve that without conflict. And I know I took the goody-goody paragon way and oh, it's, everything's happy, happy, joy, joy. But... Uh, sometimes happy, happy, joy, joy is good. Especially when we're... You know... We're in the throes of a full-scale war, essentially. So, you know, bringing any good to the galaxy that we can is... I think it's a great thing. Also, I think I can't, um... Is Jeff in the... No, Jeff was in the poor cargo and I have to see Diana. I'm gonna go this way first. He's in his usual place. Hey, Javik, what's up? Another Reaper has died. Mm -hmm. You are proving that humans are capable soldiers. But I question this peace you have brokered. No such thing is possible between machines and organics. I would have destroyed the synthetics without hesitation. And these quarians, let's just hope they are reliable allies. 
It is difficult to trust a species that hides behind masks. Masks come in all forms, Jevik. The only conflict you should concern yourself with is ending the one with the Reapers. Diplomacy does not win wars. Powerful and plentiful firearms do. That's all well and good, but you need the manpower for those. Your Asari continues to question me. I'm beginning to wish our kind had never learned to talk. And yet, they're the most advanced race in the galaxy. Figure that one out. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. Do not care what others ah, think. Yeah, Javik, I Do will. Do what you must. He's just so... You know? It's like... I kind of, I kind of feel for Liara, and I kind of feel like Liara in a sense that that's what the Protheans are. Really? Really? Disappointing. Oh, God. Hey. Commander, I'm doing a segment on the Geth Quarian War. Mm -hmm. It should take maybe an hour. Can we talk in your cabin? You want to talk in my cabin? Ugh. Call me up when you're ready for that interview, Commander. Ah, fine. I don't want to, but fine. I'll go do it. If it makes you happy. Everything, everyone's got that one thing they do for, like, the good of the team. Even if they don't necessarily like it. Also, I, um... In in going back and, and thanking people, I want to thank uh, Glenn W H twenty six because he told me the eel won't eat my fish, and that makes me happy. Oh, jellyfish! I love my fish. They are adorable. He also um, gave me a few uh, suggestions about party members for certain points in the story, which is really helpful, um, especially for interesting dialogue. I might change my armor. Feed my fish. I think I might change my armor this time. Trainer, can you send up Diana Allers? She wants to talk to me. She's on her way, Commander. Oh, dear. I'm sure you've got a million questions. I narrowed it down to 40. Let's oh. see how you do with the top 10. Commander, the last time most of us heard about Geth, they were attacking the Citadel alongside Sovereign. Yes, and you should know that was a minority of the Geth. Most of them are not hostile to organics. Is that how you explain that they're allies? And no longer dangerous robots who stick humans on spikes? What? That's not cool. The Geth were controlled, same as anybody else. What you have to realize is that despite the reputation, most Geth are not inherently violent. The Quarians attacked them. The Geth fought back in self-defense just like any organic would. Now that we've freed the Geth from Reaper control, they'll want payback for their enslavement. But you're going to take an army of synthetics to fight Reapers with untold hacking abilities. What's keeping the Reapers from reprogramming the Geth like they have before? Oh, this interview is totally over. Oh my god, the fish is flooding out of my tank again! <laughs> the Geth are extremely intelligent and they've put incredible thought into solving this problem. They're not going to turn again. I'd bet my life on it. Now here's a question from a Batarian on Omega. Commander Shepard, if the mass relays can be destroyed... Mm. So did I miss anything? Do you have any questions? You gonna go file your story now? Well, if you don't mind. Go tell the galaxy what we've done. I could use some good news. Aye aye, Commander. Get out of here, woman. Thank you. Also, flying fish. I respect you. Oh my god, he's flying! Still! Hey, flying fish! Ah, you defy the laws of everything with your awesome fishness. Oh, oh, you too! Oh, look! He's gonna come touch my hand! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Don't, don't fly down there! Dude! Where are you even going? What is this fish doing? It's like water. Well, that's a reflection of the tank, but. Look at that guy, how is he swimming in the air? I don't even know. But, um... I have pretty much talked to everybody. And I'm gonna switch my outfit off screen, because it takes less time. And, yeah. That's pretty much it, so... 
until next time guys uh thanks everybody for watching uh say hi to the flying fish again and join me for the omega dlc oh more flying fish uh oh uh oh they're invading quick get your guns they're coming <laughs> anyway thanks for watching guys